The Ted Berry Company was founded in 1972 by my grandfather, Ted Berry. We're a third generation family owned and operated business in Livermore, Maine. We serve all of Maine, uh, all of New England, including the islands. We offer industrial and municipal services. We have a crew of approximately 30 employees. We represent them and their families. We're hardworking, dedicated. We're built on service. We're built on trust and commitment. There's really no company that you can find that's more committed to a project than our company is. We have been for nearly 40 years, and we hope to be for 40 more years. The Warren Wastewater System was built in 1992 in South Warren on land deeded from the Maine Department of Corrections. It serves the village area of the town of Warren, as well as residents and businesses along Route 1, but the largest user is the Maine State Prison in South Warren. In the spring of 2011, a sanitary sewer collection system evaluation was performed by the Ted Berry Company and Warren Sanitary District staff, which included cleaning and inspection of the town's underground sewer system. Although all of the gravity piping was found to be in excellent condition and free of structural defects, a critical section of 8-inch ductile iron force main that pumps the wastewater 4.5 miles along U.S. Route 1 was found to be near failure. A solution was needed that would maintain the existing flows from the town of Warren, provide a long-term solution to the degradation of the ductile iron piping caused by biological decay inside the force main, maintain existing hydraulic capacity, and reduce the impacts of construction to the residents of Warren and those passing through on Route 1. It was determined that a section of the pipe approximately 1,600 feet long would be replaced in the fall of 2011 while a condition and risk assessment of the remaining sections of pipe found to be at risk could be performed. Pipe bursting is a well-established trenchless pipe replacement method that is used widely throughout the world for the replacement of existing and deteriorated pipe. The broken pipe is then forced into the surrounding ground and a new pipe of the same or larger diameter is pulled in replacing the existing pipe. Pipe bursting reduced excavation by over 90% and the duration of construction by nearly half. In addition, this highly efficient process limited disruption to the road base of Route 1 and reduced construction costs significantly, all while limiting the impacts of construction on the nearly 20,000 cars and commercial vehicles that rely on Route 1 daily. The Ted Berry Company Trenchless Technologies team has replaced pipe throughout New England ranging in size from 2 inches to 24 inches, using pipe bursting technology. The team was brought in to evaluate construction risks and feasibility of pipe bursting the 1,600 linear feet, as well as to construct a temporary above-ground bypass that was nearly a half mile long. This would need to be installed during live flow conditions so as not to impact the sewer flow. Working on uh, Atlantic Coastal Route 1 in uh, South Warren posed numerous challenges, uh, specifically providing ample traffic flow throughout the construction was, was essential for the project's success. There were also 10 driveway crossings that were going to need to be maintained throughout the construction project that the bypass had to cross. Uh, keeping those driveways accessible for the residents and coordinating our activities in regards to those driveways uh, was definitely a, a design consideration and a challenge from the beginning. Some of the environmental advantages for pipe bursting in specific pipe segments were in that there was an adjacent stream uh, as well as a low-lying wetland area that we wanted to ensure we didn't have excavations near. In turn, we designed pit locations 250 feet each direction of this low-lying area so that we didn't have erosion and uh, runoff concerns. Well, my name's Mike Courtney, and I am the plant manager of the Warren Sanitary District. We have a small uh, system in the Warren Village area of about 26,000 linear feet that flows gravity to one pump station, and that's pumped four and a half miles down to South Warren. During the course of our evaluation, we identified about 1,600 feet of pipe that needed immediate rehab, and it was along a very narrow section of Route 1. We had a number of options to consider, open cut, which wasn't very attractive because the road was narrow, but also directional drilling, slip lining, and pipe bursting. We selected 
pipe bursting, it made the most sense for our application, and we chose the Ted Berry Company to do the work. In the fall of 2011, we started the project by constructing a temporary overground bypass of about 3,100 feet long. Now, that was a Berry recommendation that went beyond the scope of the pipe that we were going to rehab and allowed us to flow normally during the project. After the bypass was installed, the Berry Company started the bursting, and uh, that went very smoothly. And what struck me was that they ran into significant challenges, but overcame them quickly and uh, kept the project on schedule and on budget. Workplace safety is one of our top priorities, and the prevention of accidents is one of our most important duties. Each and every employee has a responsibility for safety in the workplace. It is this joint commitment that helps us provide a safe and healthy workplace for employees, customers, and visitors. Our continued success depends on everyone being alert and committed to safety. When it comes to safety, we believe there is nothing we do that is so urgent or important that we cannot take the time to do it safely. Safety and health are every bit as important in this organization as productivity and quality. In fact, they go hand in hand. Of course, the best reason for you to observe these policies is because it's in your own self-interest to do so. Conscientiously following them can help you stay safe, healthy, able to work, play, and enjoy life to its fullest.